Welcome back, everybody. Not welcome back. Hello, everybody. We're not coming back from anywhere. We're doing 2022-23 Topps Chrome UEFA Club Competition Soccer. Pick your team. I thought it was random team for a second. Pick your team number one, 12-box break. Now, we did a filler for this before. I'm uploading that video right now where people were able to win some teams, and we finally got that done. And there you go. On the 28th. So... Grant bought the 17-team combo spot, which includes all those teams. If you have that next to your names, that means you won that team in the filler. Thanks to everybody who bought their spot straight up as well. Now, we're just, just before we're talking about Tyler just discovering uh, that, that the Anaheim Angels are nowhere near L.A. It never should have happened, right? That's what Brian's saying. Let me take this out of my inventory as well. No, that's owner Artie Moreno who is trying to trying to get people to associate his team with Los Angeles, which has a bigger market share, and he's trying to do that for for branding and marketing purposes. And. Uh, it, and yeah, and it, they they changed the name. They got it to stick. But yeah, I mean, with normal rush hour traffic, it'll probably take an hour and a half to get there from Hermosa Beach anyway. I mean, Jan's claiming that they went. It was an old because of the old PCL Angels, so they went with that. That's what they'd want you to think. I mean, they were in L.A. back in the day, yeah, until Gene Autry moved it to Anaheim. But really, they were just trying to get, trying to get that branding going. All right, so club competitions. What club? Com it's all the UEFA club competitions, the Champions League. The Europa League and the Europa Conference League. Breaking news earlier today, UEFA announced they're dropping Europa from the name. So now it's just UEFA Conference League. Which, if you abbreviate, it's UCL, which is the same as Champions League. They should, probably should have named it something else. But anyway, one auto per box. A lot of fun stuff in here. Thanks, everybody. Rex remembers the... Uh, the, about the angel's name is that 2023. Oh, what's this? Oh, there's this as well. 2023 Heritage left out the city names on the cards because there's a major dispute in the name. In 2023? Is there a dispute? Uh, we got Just Killer in the uh, Twitch stream. Do I like football? Yes. Both American football and football. We got more of this in the store. You know what else is a new soccer release, soccer fans? Immaculate football is in the store. And we also have more Topps Chrome UEFA Club competitions. Get into it. Oh, no. What's happening here, Dodgers? What are you doing? On the front of the car is seen. It's blank, so people keep thinking they're errors. Really? That's crazy. I mean, I don't... I don't think there... Is there a naming dispute now? I don't think there is. You should be able to use whatever the angels... have decided that they're going to use.
We got Lint Odur. Kind of, it's a cool looking parallel there. I think some of the, I think one of the bigger names that we're looking for is, uh, yeah, is Julian Alvarez, I think is the big name that we're looking, along with Messi, Ronaldo, Earl and Holland, but that's kind of what we're looking for. But all card chip, a lot of nice stuff here, all well worth looking up. Here's 229 out of 250. That's Nicola Barella for Inter. And that's going to go to David B. I don't, that's kind of weird. I think they just made a mistake. I don't think it was because of any naming controversy, though. Because previously they've just been putting Los Angeles Angels, or they're putting whatever name that's on there. There's David Alaba to 150 for Real Madrid. We got some refractors here as well. Mbappe, is he going to stay in Paris? And it's it's transfer season. There's Hyunmin Son, who I think rejected a uh, an offer from the Saudis to go play in the Saudi league. Matthias Tell, Gold Lava, which are not numbered, by the way. There's to 199 Philip Cohn for Salzburg. That's probably, yeah, that's in this big 17 team combo for Grant. There's Jaden Sancho. And there's Lorato Martinez, 009 out of 175 for Inter Milan. It's for David B. There's the auto. These are cool looking cards. These cards are also made in Italy. So there's like a, the card stock has a, has a different feel to it. A nicer feel? Yeah, almost a nicer feel to it. And the autograph's a nice one. It's Kevin De Bruyne for Man City. That's for Rob, who picked up uh, Man City straight up. Orange, but not numbered. Still nice. Can't believe uh, Manchester City, who are uh, trying to secure the services of uh, ooh, Declan Rice, I believe, uh, pulled out of the, the bidding. No, don't they have just infinite amounts of money? I think uh, Arsenal ended up. I think they Man City ended up pulling out of the the bidding war there, the transfer bidding war. Looks like Arsenal is going to win it. My club Liverpool. Got a McAllister, the Argentinian, early in the transfer window, and then they're trying to figure some other stuff out. I think there are maybe a couple more uh, midfielders, maybe a center back, and then hopefully some of the youngsters take another step forward, I think would be, uh, would be ideal for the summer transfer window for Liverpool. Yeah, Arsenal... Signed, uh, submitted a third offer for Declan Rice worth 100 million pounds plus 5 million pounds in add-ons. That was then eventually accepted by, by West Ham, which is, which is a lot. Arsenal were, were looking like they were well on their way to winning their first title, Premier League title in who knows how long before Man City overtook them.
And then the Arsenal's not done. They also signed Kai Havertz for about 67 and a half million pounds. Yeah, Just, are you are you a Man City supporter? You uh, you guys helped at West Ham get a get an extra. Should they kick some of that back onto you a little bit? Is that right? I don't think I've ever noticed that, Rex. So it's been happening for a while. I guess you're right. I guess whenever we pull like Angels Redemptions. No, you're right. I just didn't realize that that had continued this entire time. I thought at some point Pops had just started putting the city on there again. But sometimes when we pull Redemptions, it won't say Los Angeles Angels. I think it'll just say Angels, right? On Redemptions. I don't know. Someone look that up. Oh, well, the money that uh, the money that Man City has. Why? Why not both? There's uh, Jamie Bion Gittens for Dortmund, Borussia Dortmund to three ninety nine. That'll be for Robert. It's kind of what are they? They're in some like Star Wars style back to tank. In there, it's Carvalho. Jude Bellingham ended up going to Real Madrid, right? Or is that the that's the, is that is that official? This is the player that that just wants in the Twitch stream right here from Leipzig. Virgil van Dijk for my club, the club that I support, Liverpool. Yeah, Jude did officially go to Real Madrid. Yeah, I don't know. I, th I feel like he should have gone to the Premier League. Uh, for Sporting, that's uh, Isahaku Fatawu to 250. That's part of the big combo spot going to Grant. That's a, that spot is actually quite underrated. There's a Furuhashi to 150 for Celtic. It's also part of the big combo group. There's Alessandro Del Piero. For Juve, that's 10 out of 25. Juventus, that's going to be for David B. There's Luis Diaz from my club Liverpool to 50. I think he changed his number recently, and he said uh, he told everybody, hey, anyone who has my previous number, you can return it to the store, and I'll give you a shirt with my new number. Here's Cody Gakpo, a young Dutch player who's also on my club, Liverpool. There's Julian Alvarez. He's pretty good. I like the rookie card logo on there. It's pretty sharp. It's going to go to Man City. It's going to go to Rob. Just saying, if he went to the Prem, probably would have been to Man City. Yeah. Must be nice having that oil money. All right, another box. You wouldn't do that, Rex? You think the old number will be worth more because he's not wearing it anymore? I think he's switching to a much more desirable number. Seven, maybe? Kenny Dalglish's old number.
Everyone in the chat, if you follow English Premier League soccer, who is your club? I'm a Liverpool supporter. Have been for a while. Since the, um, I don't know, the Michael Owen days. Nick Jaspi, my colleague here. Some of you know him. He is a Chelsea supporter. I don't know if there's any other football fans here of uh, Premier League soccer. TC. TC's an Arsenal supporter. Wow, Gilo just wants to be Oppo Joe, huh? Oppo Joe Jaspi. Why can't we have nice things together, Gilo? Why can't we team up on it? It's not like... It's not like as if uh, the Royals are rivals with the Dodgers. You should support Liverpool Football Club instead of Man United. Or Everton. Duncan, also a fan of the Liverpool. Nice. Matt Arnold, I was an Arsenal fan because I bet on them to win the EPL plus 600. And then they collapsed. Yeah, that, you're going to have to get used to that, I think, as an Arsenal fan. As the old jokes go. You know... Uh, Remember the movie uh, Fever Pitch, Matt Arnold? The movie Fever Pitch with, uh, with that one guy? Jim, Jimmy something? There's Lionel Messi. That's for PSG. That will be for Michael. Uh... Fever Pitch was originally uh, written by the same guy who did uh, who did like High Fidelity and stuff like that. It's an English dude. So if you, you could probably find the old Fever Pitch movie that's soccer related. I think it's with a young Colin Firth, if I'm not mistaken. And it's about Arsenal. There's Mariah Jr. for Benfica to 50. The book's quite good too. So is the High Fidelity book, which is also also based in England. And we've got Samuel Ling Jr. for Uve, Juve, Juventus, Juventus. It's going to go to David B. with Uve. Fallon, that's right, Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, the baseball one's okay, but knowing, um, knowing the uh, other version first makes it a little weird. Just in the Twitch stream, what NFL team do I support? I, I support the Las Vegas Raiders. It's Kareem Benzema. There's Antonio Rudiger. Some of these I feel like should be numbered, but they're not. It's Harvey Elliott scored a goal for England today. In the under-21s, I think they're going to be in the quarterfinals against Portugal, I want to say. I don't know if we get that on US TV here. There's Jack Grealish. Yeah, look it up, Matt Arnold. It's pretty good. Right, the Las Vegas Raiders of Los Angeles. Aaron is a fan of the Gooners. Is Gabriel Jesus to three ninety nine for Arsenal? Is that our first Erling Holland? That's an insert, but a Golazzo Erling Holland for Rob. This will go to Arsenal. That's for Aaron. Aaron W. Are you Aaron Whittington? Are you the Aaron Whittington that bought Arsenal on this? Same Aaron in the chat. All right, another box. Oh, you're a Chiefs fan, just like Gilo 
in the uh, YouTube stream. Uh, Aaron Whittington, also an Arsenal and Chiefs fan. Interesting. American football wise, we're not we're not friends, but I don't know. Is there? I don't know if there's like a deep rivalry with. Is there a r rivalry with Liverpool and Arsenal? I feel like no. I feel like more rivalry with Liverpool and sort of the Northern England teams. Man United, Everton. That's right. Yeah, I suppose these days it's just the league versus city, right? I'm j I'm just waiting for one day for uh, I'm just waiting for uh, Pep Guardiola to retire or something like that. Then maybe the rest of the league will have a chance against the deep pockets of Manchester City. League versus Man City and Newcastle? I suppose so. <coughs> Excuse me. Newcastle now has big pockets, right? It's going to happen at some point. Maybe not in our lifetime there. <laughs> Next. We got uh, Ryan Gravenbach to 175. For Bayern Munich, that's going to go to Matt Arnold. Up the two. Gila, are, are you a, a Newcastle supporter? And we got from PSG, we got Hugo Akitike, E-K-T-K. Oh, that name always jams me up. That's uh, Michael with PSG. There's Declan Rice. I think maybe breaking the English transfer record for an English player. There's Matthias De Ligt to 399. That is for Bayern Munich or Bayern München. Did the Spurs sign Madison? Are they going to sell Harry Kane, you think? Leonardo Bonucci. There's Pedri for Barcelona, 12 out of 199. That's for Brian K with Barca. Now remember, ladies and gentlemen, all card ship. It's worth kind of, you know, there's speaking of Harry Kane, there he is. It's worth looking up those rookies. Might be worth looking at most of these cars just to see how they go in the secondary secondary market. Some of sometimes some of these might surprise you. You know, some of these players I don't not super familiar with, especially if they're out, out of outside of England. But it's worth taking a look. Yeah, sometimes you can't believe any of that until they're holding a shirt up at press conference. At the press conference, you know what I mean. But all I mean, the report seems to say Declan Rice, Kai Havertz. That's a good bit of business. 
What else is Arsenal trying to do, Aaron? And the uh, in the transfer window, preseason start like within a few weeks, which is kind of crazy for most teams. I think international transfer window opens on the first, which is very soon. So that might open up some more transfer activity. We got some. Uh, we got women's World Cup happening soon. We got Gold Cup happening now. Uh, I think that are the U.S. men playing right now. I don't think they should have a problem. I didn't really tune in. Yes, they're playing uh, St. Kitts and Nevis. The U.S. is up four nil. We got uh, Mihalovic with a goal, Brian Reynolds with a goal, and Jesus Ferreira two goals. All within 25 minutes. Halftime now. So I don't know where I'm going to be watching. I don't know where the Euro under 21s. I don't know where I can see that on TV, but I might have to find like a random stream or something like that. Nice, that's right. It's uh, That is in Duncan's in that neck of the world. It, they're splitting it between uh, Australia and Australia and New Zealand, right? And you're taking your uh, five-year-old, hoping that'll get you into get get you into it. Or you're in New Zealand, Duncan? Sorry. Oh, you're in Melbourne. I, I want to go someday. That's that's a, that's the spot where I want to go and visit. There's Giovanni Reina. For Dortmund to seventy-five, that'd be a, that'd be that'd be quite a trip. Bring Jaspies overseas for the car convention out there. There's William Clem to three ninety-nine Copenhagen. A work trip, right? Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. And uh, some nice golf courses down there, right? I'm starting to pick up the golf. So I can I can I can bring the sticks, swing them around a little bit. Here's another Julian Alvarez for Man City. Rob, last spot mojo. A time difference isn't so bad. It's the same as if you're watching the Australian Open, Gilo. Easy. I've been training, time zone training. There's a Kubo for Real Sociedad, 250. That's part of the 17-team combo, I would imagine. Yeah, they are, Grant. It's not that bad. I feel like by the time I get off work, uh, LA time, there'll be some early games happening. And there's Rodrigo Ribeiro. For uh, for Sporting, which is going to go to Grant in the 17-team combo. That's Declan Rice. Yes, if you go at night, it would be daytime over over stateside. That's for sure. There'll be some games that are at a very weird hour. It'll be like 5 a.m. my time or something like that. Oh, the Central is 5 a.m. The final is 5 a.m. Central. So what is that? 3 a.m. my time? Oh, that's kind of a weird time. There's Iker Bravo to 199. You should, Aaron. 
Are they still available? We, the case is available. The case of this on the site right now are the only cases we have, by the way. There's Iker Bravo for Real Madrid. Now, Duncan, I've, I, I've, I've asked many, many Aussies and uh, many Aussies and Kiwis this question. I've gotten mixed answers, so I'll ask you, uh, polling Australians here. Does the American accent have the same effect on people in Australia as the Australian accent has an effect on, on Americans? Does that work the other way? Because, you know, girl, American girls love the Australian accent. I think American dudes like the Australian accent too. I think we all like the Australian accent. Any sort of accent, I guess, overseas, like English or Australian could be. But does that work the same way? If I were to go to, if I were to go to Melbourne, just using my my American accent, you know, will uh, will the Australian ladies be just flocking even more than they do now here in America? Obviously, obviously, you know, because there's so much already. But would it, would it be even more? I guess would be my question. It did for John. Well, he's in Melbourne, but uh, man, he might know. Viva La Dirtly. Australia's quite nice, though. I remember being in uh, Spain many years ago at the uh, in Pamplona and the, it was when I was running with the bulls, and there was like this huge festival beforehand, or that day, or something like that. There was the entire square was packed full of people swaying back and forth and it was it was getting kind of crazy actually possibly a little dangerous maybe and uh me and my buddy ended up getting pushed near this friendly group of Austra australian men and women who uh said hey come into our little circle here and camp out with us and don't get crushed which was awfully nice of them and so we did we we're very friendly There's Alejandro Garnacho for Man United. The Foden was a case hit, Matt Arnold was saying. How long ago was that Foden? Oh. All right, there's, there's Phil Foden. What, is, are, what are these? Are these Yoga Bonita cards? Yeah, Yoga Bonita per tops. It's one out of every 240 packs. These average one per case. A true case hit. Good eye, Matt. Nice. Man City, Rob. Last spot, Mojo. Remember those old uh, Yoga Bonita commercials for the World Cup way back in the day? These 
aren't numbered, by the way. That's why I'm kind of breezing by these. There's a lot of ones that seem to should like feel like they should be numbered, but they're not. They're Zidane Iqbal, Zidane Iqbal for Man United. That's for Rob. Jude Bellingham. Still Dortmund edition there. We got uh, Tukameni. Darwin Nunez. A blue Gavi to 150 for Barcelona. Brian. Gilo had a conversation with someone the other day about a vacation spot. She said she didn't want to go to Australia because they have big spiders. Huh. There's another one here to 399, Real Madrid. That's pretty good. Rob, who won that spot in the filler. That's what's stopping her from traveling. There's Bruno Iglesias to 175. It's not like, I mean, it's not like she's going into. <laughs> no, they're not just wandering around all over the place. Yeah, my accent is undefeated against giant Aussie, Aussie uh, spiders. I can, I can just, I can just sweet talk them into spinning their webs elsewhere, and, uh, and go capture small rodents elsewhere, giant spider. We don't, we don't need you here. Wait a second. You had a conversation with someone the other day. Is that someone you, Gilo? Gabe, are you afraid of giant spiders and you don't want to go to Australia for that? For that reason? Yeah, I have this friend. That just... I mean, I'll totally go, but but, but I, my friend won't go. Because... Because of the giant spiders. But it sounds like it's Gabe. The, the train whistle known to be a spider deterrent, among other things. It signals big hits, number to five or, or less, or, or it could deter spiders. You're a huge Spider-Man fan. A big Spider-Man? I mean, a Spider-Man is different from a spider. I do think they have uh, they have giant, uh, you know, all sorts of different beasts there. I remember listening to an old audio book of, of uh, Sir David Attenborough. Who, uh, who in his early days, before he was a famous nature presenter for the BBC, in the earlier days, he and a group of explorers macheted their way through the jungles of northern Australia to, uh, to capture the sights and sounds of Australian nature. Some wild stories. Check it out. Got a chance? You can read the book. There's a uh, Gabriel Martinelli, yeah, to 125. Nice Arsenal, Aaron. It's a cool insert. The uh, he's a specimen. Although it kind of looks like that's a Star Wars back to tank, right? And the autograph is for Bruges. That's Ferran Jutla 
for Bruges. That's going to go to Grant, who has that 17-team combo spot. Yeah, Martinelli is, is indeed... He's indeed a beast. Jack Grealish, Aqua Lava, not numbered. Although I feel like it should be. Yeah, Gilo, if you can't handle spiders, then you're going to be horrified at what's in the water. Did you? Colorado Summer Tour, nice. It's club debut, you got to see it. Scored the first goal. Where's Arsenal playing this summer? I think Liverpool's playing a few games in Singapore. I wanna say Chelsea is gonna be here in the United States. I think my colleague Nick Jaspi will be going to see Chelsea and Wrexham in like North Carolina maybe, something like that. That looks cool. That's a 225. Jan Oblak for Atletico Madrid. And that is for Brian. Brian Heyman with that one. Brian H. Gilo says he surfed Huntington Beach before, avoided the sharks there. I don't know. The, the Southern California sharks are quite different from the, uh, from the man chompers in... Uh, in Australia, that's for sure. There's Dario Asugo. Rookie card for Sporting to 399. It's another one for that giant combo spot. That's for Grant. No, no, no big, no big summer preseason tour for Arsenal this year. Just a free agent signing tour, I guess. What's the yearly shark attack rate over there in Australia? I don't know. Probably minuscule relative to the millions of people that go swimming in their in their oceans. Oh, in SoCal, minuscule compared to how many millions of people go into the water here relative to the number of times. That's one of those like things, right? Where people are like, oh, no way I'm going to swim in the Pacific Ocean. It's just like sharks and stuff. And if the chances of you getting hit by lightning, I think, are greater than being uh, bit by a shark. I think uh, the chance of you getting into a plane crash probably greater and getting bit by a shark, shark attacks. Rex would be scared of any water in South America and Africa. They have things that, that, in there that swim up your pee hole. You'd rather have a brain eating amoeba than a fish that'll swim up your thing. I don't think you'll even notice, that's the thing. Somehow the Dodgers are now trailing the Rockies 9-7, but Dodgers just scratched one back. Thanks, Freddie Freeman. 9-8, Colorado. I don't know. I feel like I always hear about like stories of like, yeah, someone went swimming in a local lake in America, and then they got a brain-eating amoeba, then they were dead within days. They did an autopsy, and their brain was all smoothed out.
stagnant water brain in me. You think, I think I have like three? No, nothing to eat? Here's uh, Alfie Divine to 250 for Tottenham. That'll be for Nicholas. Iniesta. That one is numbered. Thir Twenty. The one that's purple is not numbered. Twenty out of thirty. Noah uh, Sasa for FC Copenhagen. That's for Grant. And that is Gabriel Vernon of Veron. That is for Porto to fifty-two. You can see the tops logo printed in the background. A little step and repeat in the background. Whoa, really? That's happened here in KC, actually. My friend's neighbor's kid died because of a brain parasite after swimming in a nearby lake. Yeah, Aaron's right. Plug your nose. There's Matthias De Leap to 225 for a Bayern München. Bayern Munich goes to Matt Arnold. And the autograph is going to be uh, another Copenhagen player. That's Hakon Arnar Haraldsson. And that will be for Grant in that 17-team combo spot. be numbered no Cole Palmer to 399 for Manchester City a refractor Mudrick there saying Greg Yeah, good call. There you go, Greg. Yeah, I'll save that up for you. No worries. It's Cole Palmer 399. All right, four boxes left. Or it might be a little bit, this might, it might have taken a little bit longer than I thought, but I don't know, maybe. No, I think it might take a little bit longer than I thought, but we'll get there, folks. These cards barely look chrome to you. You got to improve the, uh, the settings on your, on your, on your potato device that you're, looking, that you're watching this stream through, Gilo. These are very chromey. Very chromey. Let's go. JD Martinez. Two and two. Bases loaded. Two outs. Top of the eighth. Down by one. Ah, uh, he strikes out. Oh, Tyler, did you did you spoil it? You're not supposed to say it like that. And it better be like seventh or eighth inning or or later. I like I feel like whenever something special is happening in a baseball game. MLB.com always always like announces it like in the fifth inning or something like that. And I'm like, what? Way too early. <laughs> no, that's right, we only do stream at 720, sorry. 
if you rewatch the stream, I think we, we record in 1080 though. So I think when, when we re when we post this video and when we repost the entire stream at the end of the night, I'm almost certain that those can stream at 1080p, if not higher. Go. Darwin Nunez is a specimen. Gavi. Zimbabwe. Does Zimbabwe stay in PSG? Mason Mount. There you go, Jan. Thank you. And there's a uh, Zabozalai to two fifty. I think. Uh, Liverpool, among other clubs, chasing after this guy. Goes to Leipzig. That's going to be for Grant in the 17-team combo. Mbappe to Arsenal. Do they have the money for that? And Gonzalo Ramos, the Benfica forward. Nice little insert autograph. That is for Grant in that 17-team combo spot. A lot of value in that spot. Nice. Uh, Fatou to three ninety nine for sporting. <laughs> yeah, money isn't real anymore. I always, I always imagine like, like when, when like American owners first tried to uh, get into, you know, like American billionaires who own American pro clubs trying to buy English soccer teams. They're like, wait, we do what here? <laughs> when they first started doing. So we pay a fee to the other club, and we're still paying the other guy a contract.
All right. Another box. And we will take a look at some baseball scores. There is Moriera Jr. for Benfica to three ninety nine. That'll be for uh, Grant. Uh, Trent Alexander Arnold. Nice, right, one of my favorite Liverpool players to two fifty. That's going to go to Brian. That sort of him kind of cutting in being a midfielder experiment kind of helped towards the end of the season. I wonder if that's going to continue. So Marquinhos for PSG. Lewandowski. Ooh, oh no. Royals had to use the position player tonight. The Dodgers are about to lose to the, uh, are losing to the Rockies tonight. So. There's a Cafu for AC Milan. And that's going to go to David B. 007 out of 199. Nice, old school. And there's Gavi, new school. To 25 out of 25, uh, Barcelona. It's going to go to Brian. Brian K. I got a blue Julian Alvarez. Nice. Man City. Rob. Rob W with that one. There's two Robs in this break. Rob W. Rob C. And a Robert M. But this is for Rob W. in Manchester City. Darwin Nunez. <laughs> Gabe might also use that as a strategy. Pop a position player in the middle of a game. They won't see it coming. Yeah, they're not game. They're not game planning for that. All right, a little, uh, yeah, Gila was just talking about his Royals getting pounded here. Yeah, the Guardians beat the Royals in Kansas City 14-1. to Bo Naylor hits his first home run in the big leagues. Phillies beat the Cubs 8-5. Nick Castellanos with a three-run home run against his former team, I think. He was Cub at some point. Rangers beat the Tigers 10-2. Adoles Garcia two-run shot puts the Rangers up by eight runs. Jose Altuve hits a go-ahead 3 0 home run for the Astros in the eighth. They beat the Cardinals 10 to seven. Christian Yelich driving in insurance runs for the Brewers. Brewers beat the Mets five to two in New York. Mets fans cannot be happy right now. Uh, Marlins beat the Red Sox six to two. Jazz Chisholm launches his first home run since his return from the IL. Welcome back. Wasn't he on the cover of MLB The Show? Is there a is there a MLB the show curse? It's on the IL. Blue Jays beat the Giants 6-1. Blue Jays pushing across five runs in the first inning. And never look back. Carl Santana had a 427-foot home run for the Pirates. They beat the Padres 7-1. In extras, Reds beat the Orioles 11-7. Nationals beat the Mariners 4-1. Braves shut out the Twins 3-zip. 
Uh, Diamondbacks in the top of the ninth are trying to hang on. They're leading 2-1, but the Rays are up. Or the Rays have a run in the top of the ninth, and they've got men on first and second, no outs. As, uh, as Tyler mentioned earlier, something is special happening in Oakland for the Yankees. Not for Oakland, though. Top of the seventh. Still a ways to go there. Uh, White Sox are leading the Angels 9-4. to four. Bottom of the seventh. My, uh, the Rockies are leading my Dodgers 9-8 in the top of the ninth. They... With no outs. Okay, so there's the first batter, Max Muncy. Yeah, I think Luis, I mean, listen, we are I don't think we're even officially at the halfway point of the season, so it's like, it's a tough ask for him. But yeah, he's still chasing. He's He only went one for five today, so his batting average dropped to a, dropped to a garbage 396. Terrible. <laughs> send, send him back down. One for five. Once he strikes out. And some red, which is, I think is not numbered, which is a little tricksy hobbits right here. But there's Casemiro for Man United. Are these short printed at all? Short or printed? I don't know if they are even that. I don't think... Well, I guess there are red out of fives. But it's just just a regular red. Oh, I guess this is technically like a red shimmer or something like that. Or actually seismic. I guess it's pretty short print. Red and gold seismic is one out of every 360 packs. So, you know, something something to look out for. And yeah, that's a that's a Bukayo Saka pulsar. It's for you, Aaron. Those are a lot more common, but it still looks cool. There's Weston McKinney for Juventus, two twenty-five. That'll be for David B. There's Lukaku blue to 150. Nice color match. And there's Rooney uh, Bargd Hiji. And that is for FC Copenhagen. And that's going to be for Grant with that 17 team uh, combo spot. Oh, that's strike three. That was outside, um. That's brutal. 61 out of 75. That's outside. What is he had? Uh, Ump has dinner plans or something? What happened here? Dodgers gave up. Oh, they because they gave up five in the six. That'll do it. Whose fault was that? Oh, Victor Gonzalez, Nick Robertson. Gotta figure that bullpen out. These seismics are a lot more common. He's a wonder king. We just saw his autograph a second ago. That's this is what he's about. Yeah, keep an eye out for him. If he ends up to ends up 
joining a bigger club. And there's Jack Grealish to 199. Yeah, that was a bad loss, Oliver. This bullpen's an issue, Oliver. It's a problem. I mean, Michael Grove kind of kept us in it. That's Dodger leading, I think, when he came out of the inning, came out of the game. Yeah, because Victor Gonzalez has, has tabbed with the loss. Yeah, you can't. Well, yeah, can't be losing the Rockies. These are the games you have to win. You know, you gotta gotta beat up on the small teams, on the weaker teams. Try to stay level with the playoff caliber teams. That's that makes for a really nice record by the end of the season. Really, last thirty innings. That's only three games, though, right? <laughs> 30 innings makes it sound nice. That seems like a lot. And then you realize there's nine innings in a game, and that's like three games. All right, last box. Uh, six or seven games? Oh, that's true. Bullpen. Sorry, I'm thinking of nine innings in a game. All right, so you're right. It's a little bit more than that. Because we're just bullpen. All right. Still not convinced, though. <laughs> I mean, I think Daniel Hudson's coming back, though. He might be able to play starting tomorrow. I think that's going to be a huge help. I think that should really kind of set the order of some of these guys. Julio Urias coming back is good. I'd love to see... I'd love to see them skip Clayton Kershaw's start before the All-Star break, then give him the All-Star break to rest up, and then... Start him as late as you can after the All Star break. That might be like almost a week plus. That's almost like a quick little IL stint for Kirsch. And that might get him ready to go for the proverbial second half of the season, the symbolic last half of the season. Only good. Only room for one good hobby, Bobby. Who's the first? Oh, Bobby Witt. I thought you. I thought you might have been talking about uh, Roberto Firmino for Liverpool, or actually not anymore. He's leaving, but much respect to Roberto Firmino. And we've got Jorginho, who uh, signing with the Black Ink there for Chelsea. That'll be for Greg. There you go, Greg. That's 129 out of 150. Blue parallel, nice little color match with the blues. There's Luis Diaz, pink mini diamonds. Golazo to Lewandowski to 125. That's for Barcelona. That'll be for Brian K. You got rookie refractor Rico Lewis. Here's another Mudrick for Chelsea. And my guy Luis Diaz here. That's going to go to Brian B. Vessia gone. Big Vic next. Yeah, need some left-handed bullpen pitching other than Ferguson. Who's out there? I think the I think the Dodgers should be pretty active in the trade market. Is that a different parallel there, Paolo Dybala? It's 
my first look at this set, so I'm kind of kind of learning alongside you, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if they. Yeah, these are what are these called? Base hero variations. One out of every 356 packs. These switch up the background design to a comic book style. Nice. Balo Daibala. It's pretty good. With Roma now, that's uh, for Grant. Nice. There's an Erlen Holland. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. And we got a Danilo to a three ninety nine, Jude Bellingham, got Cho at the end, and that is the end, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty solid break, a lot of fun stuff. We we so rarely get to do, you know, some proper footy. So this is always a this is always a treat and enjoyable to me, even though the breaks are a little long. But thanks everybody for getting in. That's a short printed one right there. Got some Julian Alvarez's, some nice autos, some future stars. Joga Benito as well. And Kevin De Bruyne started us off. A lot of great stuff. Check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.